Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-2086. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures News reports in all major towns and cities are to be monitored for missing persons that had recently or regularly used public transport. Agents are to be dispatched to high-threat regions on a semi-regular basis. All recently discovered SCP-2086 colonies are to be condemned and demolished with chemical explosives. Standard media suppression tactics are to be applied during this entire procedure. As of this writing, five specimens of SCP-2086 are in Foundation custody. All specimens are stored in what had previously been an aircraft hangar. Because of their short lifespans and high reproduction rates, the number of SCP-2086 instances in Foundation custody shifts regularly. Terminated specimens formerly in Foundation custody are to be moved to a specialized cold storage container at Site for study. Description SCP-2086 is a species of arthropod that resembles various makes, models, and brandings of public transport vehicles typically buses. Mature SCP-2086 instances weigh approximately 17,000 kilograms, although this number can greatly vary. Juveniles typically weigh less than 200 kilograms. A newborn specimen of SCP-2086 can be expected to grow to full size within one week. On average, SCP-2086 specimens live 12 to 15 days with females producing up to 20 offspring after reaching reproduction age at approximately 8 days. Mature instances of SCP-2086 do not feed, instead, living off nutrients consumed as juveniles. However, only mature instances of SCP-2086 display foraging behaviors. When foraging, SCP-2086 are almost indistinguishable from standard automobiles, although closer examinations reveal the steel, wood, plastic, and glass to be a specialized form of chitin. Vital organs such as the heart, brain, and stomach are stored beneath the flooring of SCP-2086's inner chamber. A human corpse preserved in a shellac-like substance typically serves as the decoy driver of wild SCP-2086 instances. Fibrous appendages protrude into the corpse. SCP-2086 instances use these fibers to manipulate the corpse, providing a more lifelike appearance. SCP-2086 instances can unravel their roofs into wings that are capable of lifting the entire organism in flight, which is their standard method of locomotion when not foraging. In addition, the wheels can unravel into long gray or black legs, while the headlights appear to serve as bioluminescent optical organs. The appendages of SCP-2086 instances are abnormally apt at fine manipulation when compared to other species of arthropod. Specimens have been observed building crude shelters with materials located at their nesting grounds. SCP-2086 typically nest in abandoned junk and scrapyards. Juvenile instances in the wild have been observed removing bus stop signposts and relocating them, typically in a route that leads back to the local colony. Accidental civilian observation of SCP-2086 instances engaging in this activity is minimized due to the significantly smaller size of juvenile specimens. The mature instances of SCP-2086 will drive along the route laid by juveniles, picking up human passengers. Once a significant number of humans board an instance of SCP-2086, the organism will release a substance similar to chloroform to incapacitate its prey. Upon returning to the colony, juvenile SCP-2086 instances will enter the mature instance's internal chamber. Each passenger is then forcefully removed from the mature instance by a juvenile. The juvenile SCP-2086 instance will proceed to force the human through a sphincter located under their hood, linking to where the steering wheel and driver's seat is typically located in mature specimens. Once consumed, hair-like appendages attached to the driver's seat will pierce the trapped human's body. These appendages serve as feeding tubes, draining blood from the prey. Once the prey has been drained of blood, the feeding tubes will begin to secrete a saline solution into the corpse. 
The internal compartment will then begin to fill with a shellac-like substance, preserving the corpse. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever look at my car in the same way again. Thank you very much for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Muslim Wookie, Slump God, Justin Day, John O. Porter, Captain Gorge, Fluffy, Dread, my archive curator Nick, Tyver Ball, Cody Tench, Cheese Whip, Dips McGee, and Oblong Dishboy. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.